today we'll be doing the applications applications here of course are simple numericals basically uh, based on coulomb's law for today example examples and problems i'll be separating in the beginning only examples sorry exercise basically examples of course i can write still but exercise not serious problems this will allow you to go back to the formulas and remember them so that later we can try better problems okay <clears throat> two charges Plus ten microcoulombs and minus twenty microcoulombs are placed at a distance of what twenty centimeters in air. Hmm. No, in water. Let me see. Epsilon r equals eight. <clears throat> Find the force of attraction between them. Okay. So F in medium is straight away. We write one by four pi epsilon zero epsilon r q one q two by r. So we do write in magnitude form. But all this we know is nine into ten to the power nine. So nine into ten to the power nine divided by epsilon r is eighty into q one q two. Don't write the signs of the charges now. Simply the magnitude ten into ten to the power minus six into 20 into 10 to the power minus 6 by r square 20 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole square simplify it and get your answer which are this <coughs> see why i've done even the sim simple problem like the substitution is i want to tell you that unless you write the force in vector form you will never carry the signs of the charge simply the magnitude and of course since they are plus and minus we say it is attractive force all right so tell me how much is this quickly calculate it and tell me i'm not doing the calculation for you you need to do it for yourself and fast okay abhinav uh you're you're still in the beginning uh in your link you can go and see the old videos i've just given a lot of introduction for things covering all small things okay but actual problem is problem solving is starting now so you need to know all this is 9 into 10 to the power 9 so how much is this children quickly 225. Huh? 225. 225. Sorry. Yes, sir. 225. Others agree? Simplification. This is minus 12, minus 10. Okay. Minus 10, minus 1. This is 160. The power minus four. You can you should be able to calculate just like that, whatever it is. All right. So if you tell me the correct answer, write it and move ahead. The numbers. You want me to do this for you? Not a good idea. Hmm. I have no problem in doing it. Steps. Sir, it's 225. 225 only Newtons. All right, I'll believe you. And if somebody has an objection, just check. 
So I'll go for the next question. Two. <clears throat> It's charge. Sir? Yes. Once could you keep previous page, sir? Yeah. Okay, sir. Now. A charge Q has to be divided into two parts. For a given distance between them, for a given distance between them the force they apply on each other is a maximum okay so what are the two parts of the charge. A charge Q has to be divided into two parts such that for a given distance between them, the force they apply on each other is a maximum. What are the two parts of the charge? It is such a simple question, but I'll still do for you. You know, F e equals magnitude I'm writing. I'll write K here because there's no need of writing one by four pi epsilon zero here. Huh? Q1, Q2 by R squared we write. Now we have a charge, total charge Q. I will divide it into Q and Q minus Q. Here Q is the variable. So F becomes K into Q into Q minus Q by R squared. So that is K by R squared constant into Q Q minus Q squared. So for F to become maximum, for F to become maximum, Tf by dQ is equal to zero. So K by R square by as it is, Q into Q, Q into one minus two Q is equal to zero. There's nothing great about it, try to understand. If I've got the number 10, if I divide that into five and five only, the product is going to be maximum. Any other way you do six and four, that will be 24. Seven and three, that will be 21. Eight and two, that will be 16. Nine and one, that will be nine. So it is just a problem of simple differentiation there, a simple numerical match there. Okay. so. Have you followed this? If I divide them into Q by 2 and Q by 2, the force between them for a given distance R will be maximum. All right. Chillen, tell me, I'm starting from zero level problems now. Any question you've got, you can ask me. Hmm?
Sir, they were checked. Yes, they asked that what are the two parts of the charge room, sir? We can take it as q by two and q by two, sir. That's all. It's a need so. Hmm. Okay, Obvious, right? So the two parts are q by two and q by two. That q is variable. Whatever we want, we can take. Huh? That q is variable, right, sir? The small q is variable, right? So we don't know how much that q should be. Now we found that. It should be q by two, q by. Two. That means if I divide the total charge into half and half, then the force between them becomes maximum. I have told you here. Now you could have guessed it even before I finished. You could have told the answer. Ah, come on. A given number is divided into two parts. The product will be maximum. Here the force depends on the product, right? Huh? So the product is maximum if they are divided into half and half. Sum of two numbers is ten. The product should be maximum. How do you divide them? Is a differentiation question basically, right? Can I continue? Chillen, who is there? Speak, Abhinav. Hello, sir. Mm, do you follow that? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Mm. See, I'll be testing you. Like it all depends on the feedback. If you keep following the problems, I can keep increasing the level and then make it very, very interesting as well. But supposing you did not follow some small things, also you ask me. There's nothing like, see, if you're not following, even if I do some tough problems, it won't be useful. So in somewhere here, yeah. supposing you had a problem in differentiation, also I'll tell you. But don't uh, bluff yourself and uh, my me. Come on. Any well, here. Uh Sir, here we can take 9 into 9 also, sir. Why it should be taken? 9 into 9, I am dividing 10. Okay. Uh, how will you divide 10 into 9 and 9? Okay, sir. Uh -huh. Okay, Rishita, tell me. Sir, why is df by dq equal to 0? If y is a function of x, hmm? for y to be maximum, dy by dx must be zero, maximum or minimum. Okay, sir, got it. And uh, if it is maximum, d to y by dx two will be less than zero. If it is minimum, this maximum minimum in differentiation. All right, Rishita. Yes, hmm? sir. This is derivatives in first year maths, but for physics people, I do it even for physics in the beginning. Is it okay? Rishita? Yes, sir. Hmm. Okay, can I continue then? I will. Third question. Ah. Uh, Look, two charges, two spheres, let me say, have radii two centimeters and four centimeters. Huh? They carry They carry charges of plus twenty microcoulombs and minus ten microcoulombs. When placed at some distance from each other. They exert a force F on each other. Okay. They are put in contact for some time.
and then separated to the same distance. What will be the new force? This for this, it was already told like how the charges divide all that. That's what I mean by doing theory and then connecting the problems to that theory which is already done. So you cannot do the do a problem uh, in isolation like that. Hmm? This is for some time and then separated to the same distance. What will be the new force between them? So first visualize two spheres, metal spheres of course here, two metal spheres let me say. The radii two centimeters and four centimeters. So this one had plus 20 microcoulombs, this one had minus 10 microcoulombs. They are at some distance, they exert at some distance R but they apply F on each other. That means this will be pulled by this with F. This will be pulled with F. Naturally, this force will be equal and opposite. Now you put them in touch. So I've told you some time ago, if you look at the old lesson, the charges will be divided in the inverse ratio of their, sorry, in the direct ratio of their radii. Total charge, Q1 plus Q2, plus 20 minus 10 microcoulombs will be divided in the ratio 2 is to 4. Charge flows from one to the other till the potentials become same, I told you, if you remember. Now I should write here F equals K into 20 into 10 into 10 to the power minus 12 because microcoulombs by some R square. Now the new force when I want to write, what should I do? First, let me get the charges on them. How much is this? Into 2 is to 4 ratio I should divide. That is 1 is to 2 ratio I should divide. So for this one it is 1 by 3. For the other one it is total charge with sign I should write. Microcoulombs into 2 by 3. So what do I get children here? On this, when I now I separate them to the same distance, the charge I have is how much? 10 by 3 for this. And how much is this? 20 by 3 for this, but both are now positive charges. Previously the force was attraction, now the force becomes repulsive. The new force I'll write like this, K into 10 by 3 into 20 by 3 huh? into 10 to the power minus 12 by R squared. So F by F1 you do. You understand what am I writing? Huh? Charge will be divided in the direct ratio of the radii. Just look back some time ago, I've given you this. Q1 plus Q2 into R1 by R1 plus R2, Q1 plus Q2 into R2 by R1 plus R2 is the way the charges divide, I told you. So here, the radii are two is to four. The ratio is 1 is to 2. That means one part is 1 by 3, the other part is 2 by 3. That's what I did here by dividing the charges. So the new charges are what? 10 by 3 and 20 by 3. I wrote it like this. Do you follow? So F by F1 will be what? K will be cancelled. R squared will be cancelled. 10 to the power minus 3 will be cancelled. Isn't it so? 10 to the power minus 12 will be cancelled. So finally, what do I get? 20 into 10 by 10 by 3 into 3, 9, 9 goes up, right? So what do I get now? So F by F1 equals 9. So F1 equals F by 9, but now it is repulsive. Previously it was attractive. Take F. Sir. Sir. 
Yeah, children, tell me. Abhinav? Sir, Q1 plus Q2 is equal to R1 by R1 plus R2. Q1 by Q2, Abhita. Q1 dash Q2 dash. Hmm? So some are there already, but uh, the other day I told you about this, no? But I'll talk again. But at least those who are there in the beginning should follow this, no? Children? Followed, sir. Who? Devarchit. Yes, Rishita? Rishita Pavan? Actually, you entered the same uh, ID, you know, the old one, yesterday, whatever I've done, even. Yeah, the same ID. Somebody is putting a message that they're not even. Sir. Yeah, tell me. Abhinav. Uh, yes, sir, to wish to... No, the voice is not coming clear. I'll talk. Let let others complete it. I'll talk again in the next page. Hmm? It's already crowded. Which which branch of Chaitanya are you, Abhinav? Sir, Pukat sir. And which what kind of a branch batch you are in? Sir, branch. Don't, don't tell me spark. Those things I won't be knowing. Is it for IITJ advanced or mains? Advanced, sir. Huh? Advanced, sir. Not able to hear you. Sir, advanced, sir. Advanced only, okay. So, is it advanced for the namesake or some advanced stuff happens? Sir, no, sir. It is for namesake only. Namesake. Hmm. There's a problem with them. Okay, we'll see. But anyway, you ask, I'll keep helping you. There's no problem with that. Yes, and even uh -huh. others, even others, tell me, did I talk about this charge division previously, Rishita? You are there, I think, every day. Yes, sir. sir, you told day before yesterday, sir. Yes. Huh? But still, I mean, I mean, 14. Yeah. He's asking, I'll just talk about it for a while. Hmm. Can I change the screen, children? But do you understand the whole idea? Initially, the force was attractive. Why? This is minus, this is plus. But after charge sharing, both have become plus sign. Do you follow? This is what you mean by charge conservation. I told you, if you remember, the principle connected with this is what? Charge conservation. That's how physics will be done. For everything, there is an idea like this. Since that fellow asked, I've been asked, I just go explaining it further. Even for others, listen to me. Look, initially, what were the charges, children? Tell me quickly. Uh, how much is this? Plus 20, yeah? And some distance R you have. Another sphere is there. Charge on that is how much? Minus 10. So force was written as what? Some constant K into Q1 into 10 to the power minus 6 into 10. I'm writing only the magnitude, so I don't write minus sign there. The distance I don't know, I'm writing R square. But now when you place them in touch, what will happen? You tell me. Charge will flow from one to the other till the potentials become same. Like when you connected two containers having water at different levels. So water flows from container of higher level to container of lower level till the levels become same. In a similar way, Charges will flow from high potential to low potential till the potentials become same. But you need not bother about that because that, key, that comes later to us. Right now I told you the total charge will remain same. Like if it was Q1, if it is Q2, this Q1 plus Q2 
will be equal to some q1 dash plus q2 dash this is what you mean by charge conservation children the total charge will be same before and after because charge cannot be destroyed neither it can be created from somewhere and placed here this is what you mean by charge conservation an important form idea not formula all right but uh, i told you without showing all this i told you that for the charge conservation to happen this q1 plus q2 by 2 should be divided in the ratio of their radii i told you so how do you define uh, say for example i've got some 100 rupees how do i divide this 100 rupees in the ratio 2 is to 5 100 into 2 by 7 100 into 5 by 7 do you follow this huh tell me so this charge i'm dividing for this and this i'm not proving it right now the proof comes later because that comes in capacity and all that but a kind of problem uh, 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 this kind of problems keep coming in Coulomb's law, so I've just given it. The total charge must be divided divide in the inverse direct ratio of the resistances. So R1 is to R2. So for the Q1 dash, it will be total charge in the ratio R1 by R1 plus R2. Q2 dash will be total charge in the ratio of this one. So that's what we have done in the previous problem. All right. How they are dividing the direct ratio of their resistance uh, radii, I'll show you sometime later. Remember that. So, can I go to the next question, children? Yes, sir. Yeah. Amina, tell me. Yeah. Fourth question. Yeah, fourth question now. <coughs> mm. Devarchit, are you following? Yes, sir. You just be honest with me, children, because ultimately uh, there are two kinds of approaches. One is top down. Top down means you learn the subject in a thorough way from the beginning, discuss the ideas, write the formulas, derive the equations. And remember that these are going to be used in the problems and then go, go straight away to tough problems. So easy problems will happen automatically with them. That's called top down. That means supposing your, your learning culture is already good, that you, you know that lesson has to be done first, not that problem has to be, have to be started directly. In the lesson itself, you'll know the purpose of doing the lesson. You'll know that, oh, these ideas are going to be used somewhere in the problems. So once that culture is there, you can straight away start with tough questions. There's no need of doing uh, lower level questions. Formula based, I need not do. Because once you do those tougher questions in which all the ideas are covered, so people automatically do the lower level questions on their own. This is what you mean by the top down approach. Top to down. It's the best approach, believe me. But some people cannot do that. So we can go from Bottom to up. This also you can do. You can do small questions and go for the tough questions. Whichever is way, whichever way finally the learning should happen, believe me. So you cannot compromise with the understanding there. All right. I'll go to another question. Oh, actually, I'm a little uh, now hesitant to increase the level. But let me see. Fourth question. Uh, two charges. Q1 and Q2 are placed in air at R1 from each other. Okay. Two charges plus Q1 and plus Q2 are placed in air at R1 from each other. What 
what should be the distance between them? What should be the distance between them? So that they experience the same force, they experience the same force when they are placed in a medium. of a relative permittivity epsilon r they are placed initially at r1 from each other full stop what should be the distance between them so that they experience the same force when they are placed in a medium of relative permittivity epsilon r. Look at this. In air or vacuum, the formula is what? 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 by r square. Here r1 square or r a square I'll write. Now f in medium will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 epsilon r q1 q2 by r medium square now these forces have to be equal children so when i make them equal what will i get huh? if i make these two things equal this will cancel out right so what will i get 1 by r a square is equal to 1 by epsilon r r medium square do you follow you should not write too many steps Huh? So R medium square equals R A square by epsilon R. So R medium is R A by root of epsilon R. Hello, sir. Yes. So this uh, we can't use that uh, one by four by epsilon naught q q two equals to q one plus q two. We can't use sir. Means the potential will be same, no, sir. When combined and uh, when separated. What Sai Bharat? What are you talking? We are no potential business here. Look, they are in air. A distance r now they are placed in some medium so we have to change the distance so that the force will be same no potential business here read the question huh? read the question carefully okay sir mm. Sorry, Bharat. Read the question carefully. Read it out. Let me listen from your mouth. Two Read. charges Q1 and Q2 are placed in air mm. at R1 from each other. Mm. What should be the distance between them so that 
they experience the same force when they are placed in medium of relative permanency r mm -hmm. so they experience same force this two force i am making equal do you follow understood sir uh, this equal this i did not write too many steps ha huh? yes sir mm -hmm. so the idea is in air so much force is there i place them in water for example at the same distance force will become less but i want the force to be same so for that how should i arrange the distance is a question just based on newton's sorry coulomb's law in coulomb's inverse square law okay all right can i continue children Rishita, did you follow this, Amma? Yes, sir. Uh, I have to increase the level slightly. Look. I'll just give it in terms of figure without wasting time. Now this is R, the distance between them. so the force they exert okay i placed a dielectric like this that is an in a medium like this with thickness t and epsilon r relative permittivity i did not fill the whole space so the question is find the force between the charges find the force they exert on each other who charges look when q1 and q2 are in air we write the force in air as what 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 by r square we write okay and if in medium what will you write but if, if in medium we write as 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 epsilon r q1 q2 by r square we write but what do you mean by this the whole charges are in the medium say for example water so q1 here q2 there in the same distance that means this medium is covering the whole space between the charges but here we we put the medium only until here the remaining is air only so how to write the force for this kind of a situation do you understand the question first Rishita. Yes, sir. Hmm. So this formula, when we write, it means the whole distance is covered. The whole distance between the charges is covered with a medium. Medium's relative permittivity is this. This is called relative permittivity. We defined it. Just that's the reason I want you to keep uh, watching the videos again. Like this is highly focused syllabus, and. with continuity not uh, in uh, bits and pieces we discuss it's a lesson right it's a story one after the other one after the other it was uh, done in a proper way so if you ever feel that you got a problem in doing physics remember you're not doing lessons actually speaking you are reading materials and you're trying to remember things blindly so that is actually the main trouble so if you can follow my advice and my lesson properly in a week or two you'll start seeing improvement in your understanding levels okay so how can i do this can anybody tell me devarchit praharsha parashara tell me yes sir hmm first do you follow the question yes sir r is the distance between them unlike in the sir. previous case where the whole medium is filling the whole space this medium is filling only some space hello sir ha huh? hello 
Yes, Sai Bharat, tell me. So can't we do R minus T? The distance is R minus T and just T. Uh, no, R minus T is all right. R minus T is the air distance. Agreed. Is the air distance. Now this T should be converted to air distance. Hmm. How? In the previous problem we did for the forces to be same, R medium equals R air by root of epsilon r. That's the reason I actually I wanted to give the sum together, but I split that into two parts. When the force has to be same between two charges, the distances are related like this: R medium equals R air by root of epsilon r. If I can use that. If I can use that, this see you cannot say r minus t plus t like that. What's the meaning of it? R minus the a distance t is the medium distance, right? So we need to find. I'll tell you. We need to find equivalent a distance. Equivalent a distance corresponding to. What is equivalent air distance? The distance which would cause the same force between two charges in air as the medium of thickness t. What is equivalent air distance? I told you the distance in air which would cause the same force if the charges are placed at that distance as the charges would experience if they are placed in a medium of thickness t and distance when epsilon I mean, uh, dielectric constant that is relative permittivity epsilon r so if i use this the previous one what will i get r medium that is r medium is how much t by that is t equals what we write from the previous and look at this R air by root of epsilon r. R air by root of epsilon. So R air equivalent is root of epsilon r into t. Now what you do is that r minus is the air distance. This is the air distance once again. The thickness t is converted to air distance. So the total distance will be r minus t plus this one. So force will be. Huh? 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 by r minus t plus root epsilon r into t whole square so that is how you do this and if for example t equals r that means the medium is filling the whole space it will reduce to f equals that is f in a equal f in medium equals so in the place of t if i put r what will i get r minus r cancels right root epsilon r into r so what do i get 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 epsilon r q1 q2 by r square so this will be a general case of this look at this is an important question everybody is silent i don't know children are understood sir hmm. sai bharat says understood how about others sir the distance t is converted to an equivalent a distance what is equivalent a distance i told you look if two charges are there at some distance like this in medium that force will be caused by caused on each other by the charges if they are in that a distance this is a that is medium so in these two cases the forces are same so what we see i can i couldn't have added r minus t to this t that's meaningless so that's the reason i converted this 
distance in the medium to an equivalent a distance and then added that to a distance here this is a distance this is a distance and i also showed you that when r becomes t that means this whole thing is occupied by the dielectric or by the medium there, the force reduces to 1 by 4 pips and the epsilon r q1 q2 by r square, which is what we talk here. All right. Yes, Devarch, tell me. Sir, I didn't got y t equal to r here, sir. Y t equals? R. Y t equals r. What did I say t equals r? Supposing if. Okay. If t equals r. I want to check the correctness of this formula, Devarchit. Yes, yes. Are this distance, this formula we already know. Yes, sir. Isn't it though? If the medium is completely filling the space, this is a formula. But in this formula, what do you mean by the medium filling the whole space? That is T should be equal to R. It won't become, I'm saying, if I'm checking back the correctness, correctness of this answer by going to the known case. Okay, that is for certain cases. That is for that is known case. Certain right? case. So yes. So what kind of a batch are you? They were checked. Sir, for us no batches like that, sir. Huh? For us no batches, sir. Or is like sections. Which, or says, which college are you in? Huh? Speak, children. Sir, Meluha International School. Meluha International. Okay. Mm. There, sir. I am in the top batch, sir. Mm. Okay. It is given that a section a section b like that, sir. Section, section one, section two. Okay. And that's uh, main. That's meant for IITJ advanced or what? For both, sir. IIT, mm. IITJ advanced and for. Uh, CBSC. CBSC. Hmm. So, uh, did you see a book called H.C. Verma? Yes, sir. Have you tried problems in that in first year, second year, when, wherever? No, why am I asking you people is, uh, I want to really know. I want to really know where you people stand because I have no problem with anything. Uh, but I want that feedback whether you're following or not because the problem levels are I'm telling you level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5 up to 5 levels we have so I'm not actually doing uh, level 2 also right now believe me so I should know how what is your way of learning first of all you should learn the lesson do you understand this detailed lesson one uh this less this uh, what you call the first lesson only i'll be doing for so many classes you don't know so first you need to get into the culture there yes yeah, somebody was asking a question tell me children can i continue then yes sir hmm? so, yes uh, Rishita, tell me, Emma. Inside the medium, force also changes, no, sir. Emma? Inside the medium, the force also changes, no, sir. Uh, what do you mean by inside the medium? Force will be experienced by charges, Emma. There's no force in the medium. But once the charges are in the medium, force changes. That's correct. Force where? Force Q1 exerts on Q2, force Q2 exerts on Q1. There's nothing like force inside the medium. Right? Huh? Yes. Once yes. the medium is placed, force changes. Force force means where am I? Force the Q1 applies on Q2, Q2 applies on Q1 changes. So this is the new force now. In air, it will be only this, right? But now in medium with half, yes, with, with partial uh, medium there, it will be like this. With full medium there, it is like this. You know my point? This is air children. Yes, sir. This is partial distance is covered. And this is full distance covered. So one formula, second formula, third formula. Yes. Sir. 
you are also in narayana chaitanya where uh, no sir akash akash so you go in the evening sir what uh, actually it's like a uh, tie up batch i oh, i'm originally from tapasya college tapasya in narayan gora where tapasya i don't know okay Dilshukhnagar, sir. Dilshukhnagar, okay. Mm -hmm. So But from that doesn't count as our college because so, we go to Akash. Okay, okay. Ach, Tapasya is a junior college from where you write your exams. But uh, the IIT, the NAS, all that you do it in Akash. Yes, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So and previously, where were you? Which school you are coming from? I come. Breaking. Tell me. Let me know. About, let me know about you children. Uh, which school I was asking you until tenth? Uh, until tenth, I was in DAV school. DAV is uh, Sainik uh, Safil Gora. No, uh, Kanchan Bag. Okay, DAV Kanchan Bag. Yeah, yeah. No, I know that. The lady principal is still there, or somebody else is there now? Oh no, she retired uh, last to last year. Last year, okay. Uh, now uh, there is a new principal. Mm -hmm. But can I believe that you followed this child, Rashita? Hmm. Yes, sir. Mm. The idea is, I'll still explain. I'm not really convinced. Look, <coughs> in air, the force is this much, children. F equals one by. 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 by r square for the same distance children now this charges are placed like this but the medium is only until here not extending from q1 to q2 now this force will be if i call it f1 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 by r minus t Remaining air distance, children. Plus, this distance I'm writing in terms of air distance again. That is, root epsilon r into t. Now, this is the effective distance you can call. This is f if in this one. Now, but so for example, if I have the all the charges in the medium, that is, the dielectric is completely filling the space between them like this. Now, the force becomes f2. I call it. One by four pi epsilon zero q one q two by epsilon r r square. What I was trying to tell you was this will come from here if I put t equals r. That means the total distance is covered by this medium here. So if I put t equals r here, I'll get to this. So one, two, three. That is a summary of the question there. Do you follow this? Hmm? Can I continue? Can I give one more problem? Yes, sir. Give us another problem. Yeah. Okay. Sixth one, I think, probably. <clears throat> okay, two charges. Plus Q each. Are at a distance from each other in air. Hmm? Which charge? Should be placed at 
hmm? at the midpoint. No, I'll write this way first of all. I'll make it, so I, I just would like to give a smaller sum first. After that, I'll go for that. Two charges plus Q each are placed a distance from each other in A at some distance, like the certain distance from each other in air. Huh? What will be the force? On the third charge, Q plus Q placed at the midpoint of the line joining them. So I cut down the other details of the question because I'll just split the sums into parts. Let me see. Sir? Yes? So the answer will be 2 pi epsilon, uh, 1 by 2 pi epsilon naught into QR by R square. No, no, Sai, brother. Capital Q into small Q by R square. No. I'll show you that. Hmm? Look, here only, in this page only I'll show. Look at this plus q and plus q half say the distance between them is r Bharat. Huh? exactly the midpoint i placed one more so r by r by 2 r by 2 at r by 2 i placed this one now forces are vectors what will plus q do to plus the small q children it will repel this right so will apply a force f1 this way this will apply a force this way, call it F2. Okay, so F1 equals K into Q, Q by R by 2 whole square. F2 is equal to K into Q into Q by R by 2 whole square. Right? Both are equal in magnitude and opposite to each other. So F net equals what? F1 minus F2 which is same, so zero. That means the middle charge is equally repelled by this charge and that charge. All right. Tell me. Sai Bharat. Hmm? Sorry, sir, there was a screen limit, so it automatically got disconnected. No problem. Now look at this. Come on, this is very simple. So See? I missed it and I added, so I added the two forces. Why will you add? These are opposite, no? Huh? Yes, sir. You cannot. I actually, I, I told you, no, I cut down on the, uh, what do you call, difficulty level once again. Sir. But did you follow this? Yes, sir. sir. Yes, tell me. If the middle force is small, plus small Q is there, no, sir. Instead of that, it was minus small Q. It would also, be also force Also, force will be zero, but the, in that case, the forces will be attractive by the other two charges. Huh? Now, this minus Q is attracted by this with F1. F2 like that or F1, F2 doesn't matter. But they look, it will be pulled like this, but still the net force is zero only. Here in the previous case, they will be pushed like this. But even then the net force is zero. Not only plus Q, minus Q, any other charge you place here, the force on that will be zero. Q by 2, Q by 3, 2, Q by 3, whatever, whatever you place, this will experience equal and opposite forces because of the other two. 
which is minus, it will experience equal and opposite attractive forces, which is plus, it will experience equal and opposite repulsive forces. What do you say? Children. Huh? Understood, sir. Right. So, yeah, now I'm understanding. But you speak actually, don't worry. I, I have no problem with uh, you saying this, sir, I did not follow a particular small step. But that's how the whole thing develops. Probably you've been doing problems here and there. I mean, uh, I don't want to comment because you're already in those places. But the teachers there, I don't know. Like uh, these sums are not actually very difficult sums, believe me. Uh, the force idea and energy idea, work idea, all those things from first year actually you should carry. That's very important. No issue, you just uh, listen to the video again. But remember what I'm doing, what Srikansar is doing, believe is what is required for the exam. That's that faith if you get, then you'll start following me without any reservation and then you'll improve. Sir, hmm. sir, you sir. I actually, I did not go for the sum in a big way. I just made a very small question. Come on, tell me. I mean, Sir, uh. sir bina, three cases on Niger, sir. Oh, no. the uh, one, two, three, yes. Sir, are they, sir, are they, sir, the the same problem, medium lower tail, sir? This, this new problem? Is it the same, is same problem? This one, this one. Huh? Uh, Nothing matter. K will be one by four pages in the epsilon R, but the resultant force will be still zero. This force will change here, F1, F2 will change, but they will be equal and opposite. Do you follow? Abhinav, if it is in A, K will be what? 1 by 4 by epsilon 0. If it is uh, in medium, it will be 1 by 4 by epsilon 0, epsilon R. So forces will become less in magnitude, but they will be equal and still opposite. So the net force will be still zero. All right. Have you know? Yes, sir. Hmm. So now I need to talk a little more, but I think I'll reserve it for tomorrow. Okay. Uh, the link will come to you. Please go through the lesson again. I, I get a feeling that you really need to improve, all of you. Hmm? All of you should really improve. Uh, I don't know what happened or what's happening, but definitely uh, remember that we have to improve. That's very, very important. Hmm? Because uh, we still need to go to a little higher level of problem doing. So I wanted that feedback, continuous feedback, back and forth, if it keeps coming, then I can uh, arrange my teaching uh, in that manner. Okay. All right. Thank you. We'll close today. Tomorrow we'll meet again.